Well, hello there. Hi, how you doing? You look amazing, by the way. How have you been? What have you been up to? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Since I last did a video. Oh, a two week pause turned into a month pause, turned into six months, turned into a year. So where have I been? Well, I've been nowhere, really. I fell into the algorithm trap. I burned out. I tried to do too much stuff. It started to become a bit too much like a full-time job. I already have a full-time job. I don't need a second full-time job. So burned out a bit, took a little break, but the bug has got me again. I've got the urge to come riding. So where better to go to rekindle your love of gravel than the Mecca, the home of gravel, gravel foil. So we are back in Aberfoyle today, taking in the majestic scenery of the Queen Elizabeth Forest in Loch Lomond. We will start from the main car park in Aberfoyle, head south into Lockhard Forest and follow the gravel trails past Loch Katrine and Ducray Aqueducts. Up Glen Dew to Coma, then it's up Glen Guiha, the Windy Glen, past Ben Lomond to hopefully some stunning Loch Lomond views before a dramatic descent to Cale Ness. Then it's along the West Highland Way beside Loch Lomond to Inversnade Lodge and climbing back up into Glen Arklet towards Loch Katrine. After that, we go back towards Aberfoyle into the Lockhard Forest again, past Loch Chon, Lockhard, along the legendary gravel foil trails to complete our loop. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna to give that a go. It's been a while since I've done a long ride. I've mostly been riding the mountain bike actually and crashing it quite a lot. It turns out I'm pretty bad at mountain biking. But for today, we're gonna to have a look at this route. I've been wanting to do this for, well, ever since I've been trying to ride a gravel bike, I've wanted to do this loop, so, it's a lovely warm nine degrees April morning. Bit of wind, but the sun is out. The views are fantastic. Let's go. to be back here for sure. So I'm currently following the Lomond and Aqueduct loop. Check out my other video to see more about the Lomond loop. It's always a pleasure to come back here. just realized when I was carrying my bike over that stile there, I've left all my water back at the car in Aberfoyle. I am out of practice of this. <laughs> this will be a fun little route then. So you join me just walking down from that pump station there where I just put the camera up to record me cycling over the, the embankment of what used to be an old dam maybe but it's rapidly coming back to me. I gotta remember the mindset. I'm here to do a video, not ride a bike. <laughs> it can be quite frustrating having to stop every five minutes to set up the camera, ride past it, and then go again. But we're still going. Just went up the little zigzags after the Loch Catherine aqueduct. Not as bad as I remember, so that's good. Haven't lost all my fitness yet then. Pleased about that. This is some deliciously smooth gravel just here. It doesn't even feel like gravel, it feels like a road. Brilliant. So I've got some new tires, I've got some new shoes to treat myself for coming back. Bit of a pain to get on, but so far I'm liking them.
So I think the sun's coming out again. Definitely trying its best. So we say goodbye to the Lomond Loop. That goes off up that hill. We're going that way. There's old Ben Lomond up there, dipping its head into the clouds. Thought about taking a mountain bike up there. Let me know if it's a good idea or not. It looks quite fun. But for now, we're going this way, Tacoma. So far so good. All been gravel bike friendly so far, but you'd expect that from Aberfoyle Woods. So pleased with what I've done so far. Oh, cattle grid. Oh yes, one-handed. So the weather's been a bit, can't make its mind up. I've had a bit of everything really other than snow. Hopefully I don't get that though. But the views up this valley, absolutely amazing. Never been up here before, always wanted to. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. Right, we say goodbye to Coma and this lovely little glen, and now we start the short but steep climb into the windy glen. Tell you what though, when I fancy a drink about now, <laughs> shouldn't have forgotten my water bottles. So I think that's the climbing bit done, away from Coma Cottage, and also goodbye to the old power cables, the power lines. Bit of a mixed blessing them, aren't they? You don't want them because they look awful, but also they do maintain the tracks well near them. So what can you do? I just have to close my eyes when I'm going past them, just pretend they're not there. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I think this must be the best sight I've seen in the better part of a year. Oh, silence, apart from me. <laughs> Views, look at them. Oh, I'm so glad. I've come back out again. You're currently on the, on the fence, maybe waiting for the weather window or you've been off for a while and doubting whether you should go back out. Go back out, you won't regret it. Well, here we are then. Switch backs down to Loch Lomond. There's Ben Lomond over there disappearing into the rain. And there's the rain that's coming. <laughs> I think I might sit out this little squally shower that's coming through and then I might try to attempt these hairpins. I'm told they're very, very steep. And then there's a nice hiker bike along the edge of Loch Lomond. So we'll see how much hiker biking and how much riding I get to do over the next few bits. But that glen there was lovely, the windy glen. It wasn't too windy, but it was lovely views. Lovely ride. Recommend that bit, definitely. These zigzags are pretty mental. I'm not ashamed to say I might have had a little scream and then a little cry coming down there. This bit though, is really washed out, really badly washed out. I'll show you. Well, the camera's not showing is how steep this is as well. So on a gravel bike with your face planted over the front wheel and your bum in the air, not much fun. I reckon on the old mountain bike, get the old dropper post down, you'll be able to fly down here, no problem. But, 
I'm a little bit nervous of all that weight I've got over the front wheel that I'm just going to go straight over the end on one of these rocks. So we're just going to walk this little bit. Well, that was insane. I probably walked the last one, two, three zigzags, three hairpins. There was no way I was riding down that. Did not feel comfortable. That wheel was just skidding all the way down. I couldn't get enough weight over the rear wheel. And definitely when I'm by myself, all the way out here, there's no way I'm taking risks. Same goes for you, really. No need to be a hero. Hospital's full of heroes. If you don't feel comfortable, just get off and walk it. But now we've got to go down this little West Highland Way footpath. I've heard tell that it's a hiker bike fiesta. So we shall see what we make of that. One other thing of note, when you get to the bottom of the hairpins, you can't go through past this cottage. It's a no through road. So you have to come through this very awkward gate. So just be wary of that if you've got a heavy old e-bike or something. That was a bit of a squeeze for me. <laughs> oh, look at those. Is that the Arica Alps? They look awesome, don't they? All right, here we go. It's our first real bit of hiker bike. Steps up the side. No way I'm riding that. This is pretty much as expected. Cycle for about 20 meters, and then walk for 100 meters, and then cycle for 20 meters, and then walk again. It's just up and down, it's a footpath. It's not much more you can say, really. Just be prepared to walk. It takes longer than you think it will to get along here. And it's more tiring than you think it will be. <sighs> One and a half K to go. Well, we've made it to Invisnade Hotel. That was long. <laughs> Sometimes you thought, oh yeah, I could just totally do a, a good stretch of riding and then suddenly massive steps but we made it, it's all good. So now we've got a little bit of road work and then we're gonna find some more gravel in a minute. So I'll join you after the boring road. See you in a minute. Result, drinks. Right, so we climbed up from the hotel. Uh, very narrow. Would not like to meet a bus or a coach on there. I imagine there's quite a few coaches in the summer. So just be careful on that hill. Other than that, it's just a road. But now we're on the old military road that goes past Loch Harklet. And that's the old garrison over there, which is now private residence. Fantastic views. So, looks like we got ourselves a bit of a single track now. Nice single track pathway. Oh, that Pepsi has saved the day. That climb would not have happened without it. So as you can see from this map here, that's basically our route back. We're gonna follow the old military road and then we're gonna follow the statute labor road all the way back to Aberfoyle. Looks pretty good.
So what's the story of this single track then? Up and down, undulating. Definitely some kickers on it. Uh, I should have eaten more food, I think. I'm getting, a, I'm getting dizzy every time I go up a hill now. Which definitely means I'm running out of energy. I've got a few bars left. I'll have one of those in a minute, I think. But the view certainly picks me up. Look at that. What a treat. Ah, here we are again on the silky smooth gravel tracks of gravel foil. Oh, it's good to be back on them. So this forest track alongside Loch Chon, I think this one is, absolutely lovely. Definitely recommend going this way with it. Some really nice flowy descending there. Great fun. My days I am unfit. Unfit and heavy. It's a double whammy, isn't it? You lose fitness, you put on weight, so it's harder. <laughs> Scumbags. We're back on the Loman loop now. That comes down there and then goes that way. And that's where we're going. I've actually recorded the Loman loop before. So check out that video if you want more footage of this. I'm not going to bother recording it too much because I've already done it. Should we talk about these tyres then? So I've got Pirelli Cinturento Gravel M, I think they're called. Never had Pirelli gravel tyres before. I've had Michelin Power Gravels and the Bontrager Team GR2 ones. So far, these ones seem pretty good. They seem to be fairly confidence inspiring. I've got no issues riding on them fairly fast at the moment. And they've given me grip everywhere I've needed it, apart from in the really sloppy stuff. But then I don't think this tyre is rated for super sloppy anyway. I have had to pump them up fairly high though, because they are constantly going down on me. They're a bit of a nightmare to seat. But they seem to be all right, they're holding up. Pressure's probably slightly over pressured for my liking at the moment still. But I think I'll find a balance soon. So let's rate them then, shall we? Out of five. Uh, ease of installing, three, three and a half maybe. I'd recommend you get a, one of those like high flow boost pumps, because mine struggled a little bit to get this on. Uh, grip, four out of five. And looks, no, it's a tire. I don't know, does it look good? You tell me, I have to say, the trails around here really are perfect for a gravel bike. Nothing's too steep, nothing's too gnarly. It's just a nice place to ride your bike. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are options. If you want to go mental, there's some single track and all sorts kicking about. But also, you're going to have a lovely time if you just follow even just these way marked routes, the three routes they do. More than good enough. Absolutely brilliant. And if you are feeling adventurous, cycle up to Coma. Go and have a look at Loch Lomond. Go for a hiker bike. Why not? Absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad I'm back out on the bike. Absolutely tired and exhausted, don't get me wrong. I'm not fit enough for this game at the moment, but glad to be back. Well, everybody, that's us done. We're back at Aberfoyle. Oh, after a very big day out for me. First time out on a gravel bike properly in a year. Stats on the screen below. Very enjoyable though. Obviously the gravel foil routes, always amazing. But up, going up past Coma and up towards Lot Lomond, that was brilliant. Single track to Inversnade, <sighs> take it or leave it. A lot of hiker bike, pretty tricky in places, but Inversnade Hotel, great for a snack stop. What shall I do next though? I've got so many routes lined up. Like I just, I, even though I wasn't riding, I was still planning. So I've got hundreds of routes planned up. Anywhere you want to see me go, let me know right in the description, right in the comments below. Where shall I go next? Also, because I'm going to be uploading fairly inconsistently, you probably should subscribe just to make sure you get the notifications. But other than that, it's great to be back. See you next time, everyone.